You have something kind of unique this evening. Um, it's a life savings award. And um, I expect that's why a lot of you folks are here this evening. And, um, you know, it, it's going to take a minute or two, but it'd be kind of nice to know everybody here. So if we could just go around the room and get you all to uh, just uh, identify yourself or who your family members are, it'd be great. Um, we can start back there in the corner. Cooper Pop. Wife Diane. <coughs> Dennis Moser, wife Jerry. Lynette Fosday. Scott Edmund, S.E.H. Larry Court, my wife Jo. Jim O'Hara, my wife Marty. Bobby Willis and Carrie Willis, we live on Cavic Street. Who are the little ones? Oh, Finley <laughs> Willis and Graham Willis. <laughs> Finley was one of the kiddos getting off the, the bus on Cavic Street that day. Okay. These are Taylor's grandparents. <laughs> Great, Medic. And Aiden. Wife <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Medic and Abby. Uncle of uh, Hunter Pop. Kevin Pop, my wife Lisa Pop, and Ashley. And I'm, I'm, I'm Ashley and I'm Lisa. Rick, Lyon. Rick, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Trip. Ashley, and this is Jet, and we live on Camnick Street. And me and Taylor together pulled Hunter from the car. <laughs> so, haven't seen you since then. How's it going? Jesse and Jet Gerald Toot. Jet Gerald Toot. Jim Gerald. Jeff, you want to get a room back there? Oh, yeah, Jeff. <laughs> Eric Kennedy, Chief of Police. Scott Grimersberger. Grace Young. <laughs> Alan Davin. Calvin Cheetah. Terry Lurkey. Scott Cologne. Um, Carrie Tyson, Deputy Clerk. Skip Toops. And then Link. That's, that's our family name. Jennifer Burridge, Emma, and Ellie, Auntie Two Hunter. Brian Pop, Hunter's dad, my wife Jackie, and my daughter Wendy. Arlen Olson, my wife Marlene Olson, we're grandparents of Hunter. Hunter, um, you were the driver of the vehicle? Maybe you could kind of just up and tell a little story from, from your end of things of what happened. <laughs> 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 um, no, just from what you remember, you know. Well, I just remember getting in the car after school and I got in the car and kind of had a, I was feeling okay and then I got, so we, me and Taylor, Move my stuff in the back seat or whatever, and we got in the car and we started going down in front of the school or whatever. And then I just had a funny feeling all of a sudden. And then I just remember saying I had to stop or pull over. And then from there, I don't remember nothing until I woke up laying on the ground. Really? So. So <coughs> yeah. 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 So, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Eric? Taylor, you want to stand up front and center for me, please? I'm going to go over the details <laughs> that happened. You can face this car like I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not On November 8, 2017, at 325, Hunter Pop <clears throat> went unconscious while operating his motor vehicle while traveling southbound by the school. When Hunter went unconscious, the vehicle accelerated to a high rate of speed, struck a vehicle parked legally behind the school buses, and then proceeded to cross over Park Avenue. The vehicle went up into Henry, up into uh, Richard Henry's yard, just missing several large trees, utility poles, and that's when Mr. Lifesaver here alone took control of the motor vehicle, brought the motor, ve motor vehicle back onto Kamenek Street, continued around the corner near John Kurtz's residence. Just prior to that, a school bus had stopped by the Toops and the Willis's residence, where all these young kids, future athletes, future students of this community, just got off the bus. 
and there were some of them were still coming across the road, several standing in the tubes, tubes driveway. And uh, again, his, his composure, he took control of the vehicle, took the vehicle in between a series of mailboxes and a large utility pole across Troops driveway to prevent striking these young kids. And that's when the vehicle started to lose control and rolled onto the next, next residence. And when we arrived, Ms. Toops, along with other people, already had Mr. Pop out of the vehicle where first, first aid, first responders were starting to show up. But because of his composure, how you handle the situation, I think today we're grateful that we don't have a bunch of young students that are no longer with us or that have life-altering injuries. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, on behalf of the, the uh, police department, city council, fire department, first response, and all these, these dedicated community members, I want to present you with the Life Savings Award for doing your actions, being so heroic, and controlling the situation like you did. Thank you. shows how the strength of the city of Pierce, Eastern Morrison County. We are very blessed to have people like you dedicated to the city, so we're very honored. So, thank you. I have a question to ask you a little bit. Both mayors of Janola and Pierce, maybe they could give you a key to the city. <laughs> <laughs> You came to the golf course. <laughs> Toby, do you have anything you'd like to say? I think nothing will. Thank you to everybody for everything. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you on behalf of the city council. No doubt, your quick actions. Uh, and, uh, uh, just awareness definitely helped uh, making a, a bad situation. Really bad. So, thank you very much. Yeah, and I'll just add that, like, as a parent, I mean, it's just amazing. Um, I, I mean, I feel like these days, all too often, I mean, drivers, kids, whatever, people are on their phones or doing this and that, and like to. Just your awareness of the situation, your quick actions, and um, just is so heroic, so brave, just completely amazing. So I know, um, as families, the tubes and, and us, we were just we feel so thankful that you were that you were there, and we're glad, Hunter, that that you're doing yes. doing yeah. well too. So thank you very much. Uh, I'll just kind of echo Eric, Eric's. Uh, about uh, what a nice turnout of concerned family, uh, neighbors, uh, friends. Uh, I'm sure this means a lot to this young man, both young men. And, uh, thank you very much for coming out. Toby, you want to tell them they don't have to stay the rest of the meeting? <laughs> we're, always, we're always looking for a fellow, Toby. Thank you. 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 Thank you.